Well, I'm excited to be speaking with a very special gentleman all the way from the headquarters of the old Relic Society in Cairo. Hello, Gerald Perry Esquire, and thanks for being my guest on The Buzz. Always happy to oblige a keen young librarian, Miss Bottomley. Always have been. In fact, when I was younger... Yes, I want to speak to you about that well-known archaeologist and little-known poet, Cairo Jim. I believe you're his official patron. Oh, Cairo Jim. Oh, yes, yes, I've been his patron for years now. More years than I, than I care to poke a stick at. Not that that'd get us very far, if you really come and think... And you funded his expedition to Peru, which is written up in the account Cairo Jim on the trail to Chacha Muchos. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm proud to say I did. Could you tell us a bit about that expedition, Mr. Perry? Yes, well, it all started when Cairo Jim was up in the library here at the Old Relic Society, and he came across an old book, an old book that nobody had, had read for years and years. Well was a real eye-opener to him. It startled him immensely. <laughs> but I'm sure I don't have to tell you about things like that, do I, Miss Bottomley? I'm sure you know about anyone that there are lots of things to startle people in libraries. I'm sure you've opened a lot of people's eyes, what with all of your... Yes, but what about this book Cairo Jim found? Eh? Oh, yes. Well, in this book, Cairo Jim read about the lost city of Chacha Muchos, far away in Peru. Chacha Muchos? Yes, Chacha Muchos, a remote place built high on top of a jungle-covered mountain, a place that hadn't been visited in donkey's years. And what happened in this city? Oh, well, according to the book and according to the legends, the people who built this city danced themselves to extinction. You don't say. Yes, I just did. They danced themselves to extinction? Precisely. So Cairo Jim had to go off and try to find out why. So he went off. Well, when I say he went off, I don't mean he went off. I mean he went off to Peru. Huh. Some people think that I went off way back in 1947, but no, I tell them I, I've always been like this. If you want to see someone who's gone off, you should come into the society and have a look at Esmond Hornplush, one of our members. Well, he hasn't really gone off. He's just a bit cantankerous. Well, a lot cantankerous, really. But he's all right, uh, providing you don't sit in his favourite chair or take his pith helmet off the rack. No, you must never take the pith. And did Cairo Jim solve the mystery of the lost city of the dancers? Oh, if you want to find the answer to that, I suggest you go off and read the account as penned by Cairo Jim's chronicler, uh, Mr. Geoffrey... Uh, Geoffrey McSlipping. Geoffrey McSkimming, I think you mean. Yes, what I just said. I have it already, and I have read it. And what an account it is. My, you've got big shelves, Miss Bottomley. I can see them there behind you. Well stacked, too. Thank you for your time, Mr Perry. And thank you for your patronage of that well-known archaeologist and little-known poet, Cairo Jim. Eh? Oh, my pleasure. And next time you're in Cairo, pop up to the old Relic Society and have a Belzoni whopper or two with me. I'll show you things to startle you. Oh, oh that'll put feathers on your chest, all right. Oh. Cairo Jim on the trail to Chacha Muchos, an epic tale of rhythm. The first amazing Cairo Jim mystery of history. Grab it now. Spawn? It's a bit fruity, isn't it? When I asked for a whopper, I didn't expect this.